Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of World Economics, uh, the video blog that we started a couple of months ago and that I would like to thank you all for, uh, for the great response. I would definitely like to thank you all for the great response of the previous two episodes that you can follow on YouTube uh, in our channel and uh, for the questions. The questions that we have received are various. Uh, we've talked a lot about the global slowdown and the, now what we're hearing is that in order to address this global slowdown, what we need is uh, a new deal, more uh, investment plans, uh, something, something different, something more drastic, something that spurs growth dramatically. And this new Green Deal that we keep hearing about is obviously uh, one that uh, is, uh, looks very appealing, it looks tremendous. It looks like something that can really change things. Let's start by talking about the slowdown. What is the problem of the slowdown? No problem in the slowdown. We're talking about economies that because of demographics, because of uh, uh, high indebtedness, because of different levels of, of uh, uh, requirements, are not going to be growing as much as they have grown in the past. Why? Because there is excess, there is debt saturation, there is uh, too much of too much of those uh, stimulus, now of those stimulus that we were talking about. And one of the things that you need to pay attention to is that when we talk about slowdown, we need to understand whether that is a negative or whether that is a positive. The, the economy is not showing any sign that the private sector is not investing as much as it needs. There is absolutely no evidence whatsoever that there is lack of investment. There is only lack of investment based on the idea of what central planners would like companies to invest. And there is only lack of investment compared to what? When the global uh, big entities talk about reduction in the growth of investment, they are always looking at 2007 as the starting point. So they say companies are investing less than in 2007, uh, consumers are spending less than in 2007. Hold on, 2007 is not a place to look at uh, to start uh, the, to measure because it was a bubble. So what we cannot do is to think that current levels of expenditure, current levels of investment <clears throat> are abnormally low, be thinking that normal was 2007. That is the first thing. Hmm? This lack of understanding of the dynamics of the global economy also leads central banks to believe that the problem is liquidity. The Eurozone problem was never of liquidity. At the beginning of QE, there was 125 billion of excess liquidity in the European Central Bank. It is now 1.8 trillion. So it is not about injecting more liquidity in the markets. Interest rates are at zero. The Eurozone slowdown has started and accelerated at the peak of monetary stimulus with massive liquidity injections and with very, very low rates. So it is not about low rates, it is about general investment conditions. When governments stop looking at the difficulties that they put to allow companies to find attractive opportunities to invest, then they create the problem. The reason why companies may not be investing as much as central, central planners would like them to is not because of lack of stimulus. It is not because of lack of uh, government spending either. We have massive government spending, incredible deficit spending in the US, in the Eurozone, in China. We have massive already uh, set up global government spending. So, when they talk about the New Deal, the New New Deal, what are they doing? First, 
overestimating the previous New Deal. The, the New Deal, when it was set up by the uh, Roosevelt administration, what it did was prolong the Great Depression for six years by introducing protectionist measures, by introducing more rigidity, by putting more spending and malinvestment into the economy. So much that, in any case, the level of government spending and the size of government at the time was not even comparable to today. We cannot talk about a new New Deal when, governments, when government spending is already between 40 to 57% of the GDP of most of the, uh, of the leading economies. We cannot talk of a new New Deal when the governments are already deficit spending trillions of dollars every year. Think about it. In the previous New Deal, Government spending was actually very low, but also government was saving. Huh? Not defending the New Deal, but this has absolutely nothing to do with lack of government spending. This has all to do with excessive government spending, what we're seeing right now. Slower growth because of massive levels of debt, massive levels of debt because of a chain of uh, stimulus programs country by country. The slowdown in China is very evident. It is not because of lack of stimulus. From since 2008, it has been year after year adding more liquidity, adding more uh, investment, adding more government spending into the economy. It is basically saturation of the excess. Mm -hmm. So when we look at this idea of a new deal, of these trillions of dollars needed for the green economy and all these fantastic numbers that we hear, think about one thing. If the real economy needed those trillions of dollars in investments, and those investments would be fantastic for growth and tremendous for, uh, to address the needs of consumers of industries, why are they not being undertaken by the private sector? They would be. The private sector would be implementing, and by the way, it is. It, the private sector is implementing those investments today. What it is not doing is investing in white elephants. This is a big difference, and this is the, 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 the important factor when addressing the risks of these massive ideas of what governments need to spend. Is that the government doesn't have better or more information about what the economy needs. More importantly, it has all the incentives to overspend and more than, than all of those incentives to pass the burden to the next generation. So, technology, climate change action, all those green investments are already happening. They are not happening the way that interventionists would like them to, not because they are not happening and being productive, but because they are not inflating GDP the way that the governments would want them to. And if we look at what they would do if they implement these massive stimulus, we know what happens. We know that the Eurozone, we know that China gets into massive overcapacity and enters into a much weaker period of growth. Because when we talk about green economy, when we talk about everything that involves technology, innovation, etc., it goes precisely against what governments want, which is more control, which is more intervention, and which is inflating GDP. Technology, the green economy, innovation, uh, disruptive technologies, all these things go precisely against what governments need in order to keep the inflation and growth targets the way that they want them. Not the way that we need them, the way that they want them. Hence, the things that we need to look at are much more uh, evident. First, debt saturation is not going to be solved by more of what caused it. <clears throat> Second, 
more malinvestment is not going to improve productivity and with that salaries will not increase. Third, when you give a lot of money to someone that does not suffer any of the consequences of spending it wrongly, it will, he or she or that government will spend it wrongly. Fourth, technology, green economy, innovation, all those things are already happening. Governments are not working to improve or to increase or to accelerate those trends. They are working to stop them. The reason why governments want to place themselves as the solution of this global slowdown is not because the global slowdown is any problem, it's because they will generate a crisis from the global slowdown by spending a lot more, but they will pass the burden to somebody else. So don't worry about innovation, don't worry about the green economy, don't worry about any need for a green new deal because that is already happening in front of our eyes. Think of why any government that is not going to suffer any of the consequences of malinvestment is saying that the solution to a moderate slowdown is a massive increase in debt and in expenditure from their side that will be paid by you and I. Thank you so much. See you next time.